Hello guys, Zark101 here, and today, welcome to the top five, my top five favorite planes in War Thunder. This was requested back when I started doing these top, top whatevers, and we're just gonna hop right into the gist of things. So, this is segment number five, because it's top five, not top six, top five. Alright guys, the first plane, the top on this list, is the JU-88 Bomber. Now, this bomber, out of the three that were used in the Battle of Britain, which was the Donier 17, quote me, I don't know all the bombers, but it was Donier 17, the Heinkel, and the JU-88. In my opinion, the JU-88 is my favorite German bomber. And I really wish there were more variants in War Thunder. I haven't unlocked the full payload, but it is decent. And well, in my opinion, out of the three, it looks the best. In, in my opinion, it just has a certain charm to it. Now, the Heinkel probably has a better payload. I mean, it goes up to 3.0, at least I think. And well, that may be true, but this thing has its quirks too. But this is um, the top. Now, I am. Most of these are going to be fighters. This is probably the only bomber on the list. So I will see you guys in segment number 47, or 4, if you will. Alright, guys. So the next plane on our list is the LA 5. This plane, honestly, is basically the successor to the leg. Now, if you don't know, the leg is made out of wood. It's sort of microwaved in a sense, or the glue that puts the wood together is microwaved into a sense to make it very strong and fire resistant, which is good and all. But it makes it very heavy, more heavier than the metal they would use. And it doesn't help that the leg has an underpowered engine. The underpowered engine was hence replaced with the radial that the LA-5 has, and that gave birth to the LA-5. The LA-5 for me is always going to be my favorite fighter. I have a love for radial engines. Inline engines are good and all, but I prefer radials. Give me radials any day of the week. And honestly, it's probably my favorite Russian plane in general, because I don't like too many Russian planes. On to number three. On the number three spot, we have the Mark V Spitfire. Now, it's just the Mark V in particular. The Mark V. Just the Mark V. Not the other Spitfires. The Mark V. Okay. The Mark V Spitfire is probably going to be my favorite Spitfire variant of all time. At least now. My opinion may change in the future. And really, it's the Mark 5C just excels, like, it just upgrades the normal Mark 5 to even extended heights. It gives it four Hispano Mark 2s, which is a good armament. I have not seen it in action, but I have. I will see it in action. And quite honestly, it's a Spitfire, and Spitfires are pretty good. They're, they're not perfect, but they're pretty good at almost everything. Almost everything. Now... You say what you want, that's what I think they're good at. And it's just a fun plane to use all around. So yeah. Alright guys, the, the one that takes the cake from the number two is the F4U C1 Corsair. Now we're going particular model this time. This is the 1C, the one has the M2 slash M3. Two with uh, M2 cannons, I believe. I don't know exactly the exact designation. You can correct me in the comments below because people love to do that. Anyways, uh, this thing is rugged. Yes, looks amazing. Nah, in my opinion, has decent armament. Yes, can't carry bombs, but it can still strafe things if it's open canopy. Whatever. And also, the Corsair is bent wing design just looks so distinctive that 
I may not, I don't even know if I'll get sick of it. Like, ever. And, I hope, and as always, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I doubt you are. I'm sorry to say, it's just, I doubt most people will, but you know, stuff happens. Alright guys, my favorite plane in War Thunder and possibly all of reality is the F6S Hellcat. Now we're not going with variant for this one. The F6F low tier 3 one, the F6F tier 4 one, this one I'm using right in the gameplay. This was a night fighter variant and they this was one of the first planes that actually used radar at night. And, in my opinion, even though the Corsair is faster, the Hellcat is, in my it seems more rugged. It can actually carry a good amount of ordnance, if you will, bombs, tiny tims. And overall, it's just, mmm, I just, I can go rambling on it for hours about this plane. Trust me, I could. I, I really could. But, the fact is, I don't have anybody to talk to, so yeah. Except for you guys. Hi. Anyway, so, honestly, I wanted to do this because I have done, not done this in a while, and most, and some of you might be surprised that it is the X, the F6F Hellcat, and the F6F Hellcat was basically, had the most successful kill ratio in the specific the Pacific Theater, and that is all for now on the historical side, and I will see you in the skies of War Thunder, and in this video, bye bye